sometime during the middle of the night last night. It rained. It was a light rain, light to medium rain, I could say. But it's not raining anymore, which is a good thing. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Cup of coffee, cup of coffee in hand. Back to work, full day of work. Was at work yesterday for a quick, quick half day. It was a move day. I could say move day. Then the other half, I spent contemplating about the whole, what happened to this country? You guys saw the vlog. You saw what happened after I filmed the vlog. A guy at Costco went up to me because I said, excuse me, just to go around him. Told me to go back to my asshole country. But that is done and over with. I'm over it, that's done, whatever. These people are ignorant. These people are basically ignorant. So let's keep it at that. Today, a different day, let's move forward. Let's talk about positive things and continue, continue the positive vibe of this vlog. But first, check this out. I'm assuming from this tree, the leaves have somehow conjugated back to the street. They're back, right there. Nothing here, so it must be from that tree. Five hours later. With a snap of the finger, a switch of the thumb, it is now, it is now about noontime. Lunchtime, there is no rain, no rain. No rain in sight, and no false missile alarm or emergency response going on right now here in San Francisco. None of that. So on January 13th, Saturday, eight o'clock in the morning, approximately eight o'clock in the morning, 8.19, 8 Hawaii, Hawaii was awoken with a scary message. The message read, Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Now how scary is that? You think this ballistic missile is coming? The message said this is not a drill? How scary is that? I had friends who were vacationing in Hawaii. I got friends in Hawaii, as you know. And a lot of them, when I woke up, I actually, I was already awake. but. Here in our time and I saw everyone's message, even me here in San Francisco was scared for them because we all know that madman Kim Jong-un up in North Korea has the potential to press the button whenever he feels like it. Now 10, min 10 minutes after that emergency alert went out, NORAD, the missile defense the, of the United States, sent out a message saying that there is no missiles detected. There is no missiles detected. So it's kind of an ease, but in the state of Hawaii, and I'm talking about the state, the islands, everything like that, it took them about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, to give the all clear and say, this is a false alarm. This is a false alarm. You got nothing to worry about. But it took you guys, it took them that long, that long to say, this is a false alarm. One hour later. It took Hawaii's emergency management agency 38 minutes, 38 minutes to finally rectify and say it was an accident, it was a false alarm, and then coming to find out later on that there was just some, they were, they were testing it just to make sure it was working and they accidentally pushed buttons that wasn't supposed to be pushed and that caused the whole thing. So no one's coming forward and saying that they knew they did it. No one, no one's saying that, yep, oops, we, you know, they're saying that they accidentally did it. They're saying that it was a mistake, but why it took 38 minutes? I'm thinking my thoughts, because they pushed it, didn't realize they pushed it till it was too late. That's what I'm thinking. 
but it was an accident. Everybody in Hawaii was relieved when they found out that it was a mistake, common error, human error, no missiles coming. Hawaii is not going to be attacked. It's a good thing. But now you have all these Hawaiians who were tourists as well, not just the Hawaiians, who were upset and mad and death threats. You, death threats were being sent to this person, to this agency. Why? Why? When you have a president in the White House that is a big, big, big racist and no death threats is coming to him. But this one guy made one mistake and there's death threats. Eh, not good. Not good at all. My buddy Anai Taborod in Hawaii when this happened <clears throat> posted a bunch of things. But the biggest post, the best post he did yesterday is when he said, he talked about the death threats, talked about how angry they were, and kind of said, this is not aloha. This is not what we are Hawaiians, which is true. This is true. So I'm assuming some of the death threats aren't coming from your local Hawaiians. It's probably coming from the transplants, the ones who were there for the marathon, the one who was there for all different reasons. Not the locals, because the locals were probably kind of relaxed, probably just waiting for the missile to come, if it did. That's my thoughts. It was an accident. Let's just get that in our heads. It was an accident. The guy made a mistake. Pretty sure he feels bad for the mistake that he meant, or he did. It was an accident. I mean, yes, it was kind of a scary accident, but it was an accident. At least you know it works. The system works. And then just a couple days ago in Japan, a radio broadcaster said the same thing. Oh, Jesus. So I don't know the full story about the Japan one. I don't know if the guy was on the radio and decided I'm gonna say something about a missile coming to Tokyo or if he was being funny. I don't know. I don't know the whole story behind it, but he announced there was a missile coming from North Korea and it's on its way to Japan. Caused a minor panic. It took about five to ten minutes before they said, nope, false alarm, nothing's coming, everyone can relax. Which is good. It's better than 38 minutes that it took Hawaii to find out that it was a false alarm. So Human error, it was an accident. Everyone in Hawaii shouldn't be getting all upset, getting mad at the guys. I think it was more the, like I said, more the transplant Hawaiians. And you Hawaiians out there, you know what I'm talking about when I say transplant Hawaiians. The ones who were out here, wanted to move to paradise, got to paradise and was upset. Pretty much what it is. And again, it was probably those transplant Hawaiians who were upset. You know, I did see one interview where they asked a lady, how she felt and she was kind of like oh my god and I was drinking a cup of coffee and all of a sudden I get this alert on my phone I was so devastated I didn't know what to do you relax you relax and you find out if it's true or not and if it is then God willing everyone was God willing it wasn't true so but you relax that's all you can do you can't do nothing else you can't be upset you can't be mad at the guy the guy made a simple mistake no lives were lost. So you relax. That's what you do. So we're gonna finish the rest of this inside the car. But yes, human error. It was an accident. Again, besides the mass panic attack that Hawaii had, the mass everything that Hawaii had. Chomping on some gummy bears, but it was an accident. It was an accident. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got killed. Last I checked, nobody got injured. But yes, it was a big panic attack. A lot of people kind of just ran all over the place. There was a marathon or a run that morning that ended up 
probably getting canceled. So for the people who flew out there to do that run, inconvenience, I know, most likely got a refund. That's what I would have done. But it was an accident. We got to live on, move forward, relax. It was an accident. And there's all these other stuff that came out, some tweets and all these things, and the person was doing something, saying all this stuff. But it was an accident. Hawaii, the governor for Hawaii, I forgot how to say his name. Iggy, Iggy forgot how to say his name, but he apologized. Everyone did a whole investigation about it. It's done. Move forward and just be happy that the system does work. It works. If there was something real, then you know it works. Be happy. But that's it. I mean, it makes me wonder if we have something like that here in San Francisco. Do we have something like that here? Do we have something in place to where if there was a missile coming, are we going to get notified just like that? I would, I would like something like that. So... If you are here in the San Francisco defense, if you have, if we have something like that, test it out. See what happens when the big city gets an announcement like that. See what happens to this big city of San Francisco when we get an announcement like that. We're going to have everyone going crazy. No one's, no one's going to know what to do. So just be grateful that it didn't happen. Be grateful that... It was an accident, and the accident just proves that it works. Be grateful. But that's about it. That's all I can say. I wasn't there. I lived it through everyone else on social media, people who were posting it and seeing it, followed it on the news. So I, I don't know what the chaos was. I wasn't there. But again, that's it. That's it. Guys, keep the questions coming. I'm going to get all the questions. I'm going to put them on the vlog for Friday. And I'm going to answer the questions the best I can. So Fridays, we're going to be answering questions. Keep the questions coming. Got a lot of them, and I like them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That is it. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. I made this.